Hello, this is John Calvert from the Clarkstown Central School District, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on creating, naming, or deleting a Google document. I've logged into the staff side of the CCSD uh, Google domain. When you create a document, you want to make sure uh, which side of the domain you are uh, logged into. So if you're going to be working with students, you want to make sure that you're logging into the student side. In this case, I'm logged into the staff side, so chances are I'm going to create a document that I'm either only going to use myself or a document that I'm going to share with my colleagues. First, we need to get into Google Docs. From the staff side, I can use the red links over here to uh, get to Google Docs. On either side, however, I can use the quick links on the top left in the black uh, Google bar. So I'm going to click on Documents to open up the document list. The document list is a collection of all the Google documents that you own. Now, if I want to create a document, create a new document, I'm going to click on the Create button and select Document. You'll also notice that there's other document types here. I want a text document, so I choose the first option. A window with a new Google document opens, and you'll be able to edit this document, share it with other people, and even collaborate on the document in real time. Google Docs will automatically save the document maybe every two seconds or so. Um, and you'll always be able to access it, from the access it from the documents list. To name a document, click on the default name, Untitled Document, on the top left. And a Rename Document dialog box will appear. You can trash this is the name of this document and I'm going to press OK and you'll notice that the new name of the document is you can trash this now I'm going to return to the document list and you'll see that the document I just created has been added at the top of the list to delete a document all you need to do is click the uh, checkbox next to the document that you wish uh, to delete. When you click that checkbox, you'll notice that some additional option buttons appear uh, above the document list. One of them is a trash can. If you have more than one document to delete, so in case, uh, in this case, I want to trash the one I made, I just made. I also want to trash this one. You can delete this too. When I select these two uh, documents and hit the trash can, both, since they're checked, will be delivered to my trash. Now, if you accidentally trash something that you don't want to delete, just go to the trash on the left and click the document that you wish to recover and select Restore. And it will be brought back into your document list right here. Now, if you want to remove a document that has been uh, shared with you, you can't actually delete that document because you don't own it. The original owner is the only person who can delete a document. You can, however, remove it from your document list. It's akin to unsubscribing to the document. So in, uh, in that case, you follow the same process. When you um, delete the document, though, it will ask you if you, uh, it'll tell you that you can't delete it because you don't own the document. Um, and instead will uh, ask if you want to remove it from your, your list, in which case you'll say yes. So I hope that this was a useful tutorial, and thank you very much.